Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, nope. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth. Intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre's similar. Given goal, told to accomplish. Better. Funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert. High risk. Served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage. Took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury-rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. 
and make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output, and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day-to-day. -day. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. There's gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage. Understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. That's it for now. See you, Commander. With something? Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dev before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. <sighs> How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic. My father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. 
talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used by your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. Shepard, need me for something? Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a Spectre after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but... He could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. 
You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. What's this area of the ship? A gunnery control station. The ship's batteries are controlled from here. The combat information center operators send targeting information here. The CIC decides who to shoot. Gunnery control decides how to shoot. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. But they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skillion 5's a bit rusty. It'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me at my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> 